What's up, guys? We're back with WWE 2K20 Micro Remote Chapter 10. As you can see, Samoa Joe holding the Universal Championship. Looks like you're going to say something. Hold on, guys. We'll be right back. So, I'm not really going to talk about my time in NXT. Overall, it was great, but I don't want to give Rhea Ripley the attention after what she did. She could have ended my career before it even started. Well, I still think you should have changed your name to Red Eye after that. And think of the marketing opportunities for airlines and allergy medicine that would have come your way. You left a lot of money on the table. Can you focus on our speech instead of bringing up bad ideas from the past? Bad ideas? There's another tie-in you missed out on. Please come in and save me from my idiot best friend. Hey, soon-to-be Hall of Famers. It's my old tag partner. That didn't last very long, did it? Unfortunately, no. I just wanted to say that I am so excited and honored to induct you tonight. We wouldn't want anyone else to do it. I mean, Undertaker would have been pretty cool. Or President Rock. He actually texted us today. Check it out. Can you please stop insulting Rhonda before she snaps your arm off? It's fine. Oh, now I can't find the text. Please tell me I didn't accidentally delete it. Rhonda's the perfect person to induct us. She and I had some intense battles when I first got into WWE. Especially that Money in the Bank match with the arm bar on top of the ladder. I am definitely going to mention that tonight. And I have to tell that story about Trey's first night on Raw. That was crazy. Do you think messages from the president self-destruct? Like, for security reasons? I don't know about that. Oh, I almost forgot. This was on your door. See you out there soon. What is it? It's a note. From my parents. You haven't talked to them in years. No, my real parents. It says they're going to be at the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight. Wow. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. Between never hearing from them again after they sent me that letter in high school and then all those times I left tickets for them and they didn't show, I, I'd given up hope. But now I'm finally going to meet my actual real parents. This is so cool. Are you sure it's not some kind of misunderstanding? It has to be them. Look, they signed it the same way they signed the letter I got in high school. This really isn't the best time, but maybe we should talk about this whole thing with your birth parents. No, you can't do this. What's there to talk about? They must have finally seen me on TV and tracked me down, which is all thanks to you. You're the one who encouraged my big debut on Raw, remember? That's like your third plate. Are you sure you don't have a tapeworm? It's just the food here at Raw is so much better than what I'm used to at NXT. Do you try these black beans? They really nailed the seasoning. I'm good. Don't want a case of the bean cramps during my Money in the Bank qualifying match tonight against Ronda Rousey. Mm. You're lost. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are reasons other than the food that I'd like to join you here at Raw. It's been kind of weird in NXT by myself. Well, whenever you're done stuffing your face, it wouldn't hurt if you made the rounds here and introduced yourself. Never know what could happen. You know what? That's a great idea. I'll do that right now. And by the time I'm done, dessert should be out. Sure. I'll clean up your plate. Hey, where are you going? That goes out to the arena! Oh, wow. What's he doing now? Finally, you all have a champion you can be proud of. And now that I've climbed this mountain, I plan on enjoying the view for a very, very long time. In fact, our GM, Randy Orton, might not like me saying this, but I'm the champ now, so who cares? The next decade of Monday Night Raw is going to be very monotonous because there will be no universal title changes for the next 500 episodes this is all you will see me 
in this ring holding this championship. Guys, are you seeing this? Unfortunately, yes. I'm not sure why Trey from NXT is here, but let's focus on our champion. Not the reaction I was expecting, but for those of you who find this upsetting, I'm sure there are other so-called championship matches you can watch where the titles will change hands frequently, but not mine. Okay, this guy's officially insane. Security, do your jobs. Are you kidding me? Uh, I saw visiting backstage, but I guess he had other plans. Are you lost? You know this is an NXT, right? Let him in the ring. It's cool. Come on, Joe, you're giving him what he wants. This guy craves the spotlight. You mind telling me what you're doing out here? I think we'd all like to know. I got some really good advice from my friend Red. She's kind of new to Raw, but I'm sure you know who she is, right? Super talented. Bit of a temper sometimes, but you can relate. Anyway, she said I should go around and introduce myself, and I figured, why not start with the Universal Champion himself? So I'm Trey. Pleasure to meet you. I'm not sure this is going to end well for Trey. Do you think I'm some kind of joke? No, no not at all. Shut your mouth before I break your arm. I didn't plan on competing tonight, but after your little interruption, I guess I'm going to have to start my decade of dominance one week early. I wasn't planning on competing tonight either. I actually just ate a ton of food at catering. My stomach's killing me. Do you mind if we postpone until next week? I'm afraid that is not an option. Okay, fine. But if I'm doing this, your, your title's on the line, right? <laughs> sure. I didn't get to properly introduce myself. I'm Samoa Joe. The man who's going to choke the life out of you. We have an impromptu Universal Championship match coming up next. I think it's going to be more of a slaughter than a match. I'm afraid you're right, Corey. We've seen Trey do some great things in NXT, but I don't think he's ready for this kind of challenge, especially with... I'm facing Samoa Joe for the WWE right now, Universal Champion. And I can't wait. I don't think this is going to last very long. Unfortunately. Yeah. Samoa Joe locks in the Coquina Clutch. Told you it wasn't going to last very long. Wait a second. Trey Carter. Joe's shoulders are down on the mat. He did it. He's the Universal Champion. Trey just pulled one of the biggest upsets in WWE oh, yeah. history. I guess I was still right about it not lasting long, but this is unbelievable. All hell is broken loose on Raw. Superstar who just won the Universal Championship. This is unprecedented. What happens next? <laughs> Other than Trey running for his life, I have no idea. Wow. That's crazy. He just won it like that. Be right back. Alright, guys, I am back. Hey, wait! Can't slow down. Joe's gonna kill me. Shouldn't have eaten all that food. What the hell did you just do? I took your advice and it worked. I'm Universal Champion. I meant you should talk to someone like the GM to try and get a call up. Not interrupt Samoa Joe. I, I mean, congrats. Your crazy way of doing things worked yet again. But now what? I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm just enjoying the moment. Also, I might throw up. <sighs> also, you're my ride. Sorry. <sighs> Break the car. If you find your friend before I do, you tell him this is far from over. Hey, Samoa Joe is mad. Mad. Any easy matches in WWE? I'm gonna face Ronda. Get her to Red Hell. It's kind of like surviving an encounter with a great white, only to get thrown into a river of piranhas. 
Good luck with that, Red. Oh, man. Inverted backbreaker. Ow. Rolling out by right right this mark. Yeah, All right, guys, I'm back. A lot of notoriety from stepping into Ronda's spotlight. But touching fists, that's different. It's always fun to go to the zoo until you fall into the lion's den. Red setting up for something big. Hold on, what is Samoa Joe doing out here? Did you find your friend yet? Huh? Where is he? Answer me. I don't know where he went. This is not my problem. Here comes Ronda from behind. Piper's hit. <laughs> and that'll do it, Ronda Rousey. That's wow, that's crazy. That is really crazy. I'm guys will be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Small Joe just cost her the match. Wow. Pierre yeah, back. He's back. Hey, there's like a hundred other benches in the small. Go find one. Look, seriously, I will not hesitate to punch you in the junk. Trey? Yeah, it's me, but keep it down. I'm indiscreto. I think you mean incognito? Whatever, I just don't want Samoa Joe to find me. I'm pretty sure he's not here. Good, but just in case, look off into the distance when you're talking to me. I tried calling you all week, but your phone went straight to voicemail. That's because I smashed it. I'm also wearing different deodorant to throw Samoa Joe off my trail. Can't be too cautious. And I don't know if you heard, but Joe ended up costing me my money in the bank qualifying match. You poked the bear and then ran away leaving me to deal with him. I'm sorry, and I'll make it up to you somehow, but don't get hot because I'm the universal champion. That's not what this is about. Are you sure you're not a tiny bit jealous I won a title in WWE before you when you're supposed to be the in-ring star? And I did it when I wasn't even an official member of the roster. I mean this in the nicest way, but you got lucky. I reversed a coquina clutch into a pin. That's not luck. I'm the one who taught you that when we were training in Calgary. Fine. And I guess this is yours. Take Stop. it. Stop. One of the reasons I was trying to get a hold of you is Randy Orton wants to give you a short-term raw contract. So congrats. You got what you wanted, at least as long as you're champion. Yes. I mean, yes. Don't get too excited. Horton also wanted me to let you know you're defending your title on Monday. Hmm. Let me guess, against Samoa Joe? No, he's mad at Joe for letting this turn into the single worst thing to ever happen in WWE. His words. So instead, you're going to face Brock Lesnar. Cool. You sure you don't want this? Sorry, you got yourself into this. Brock Lesnar? That man is a beast. Get Brock Lesnar to Yellow Hell. I'm a powerhouse suit. Doesn't take a genius to predict that this will be the first and last time Trey defends the Universal Championship. And hey, no dog be in this position tonight, but he somehow pulled that. Whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael. Launched with a belly to belly. He's definitely being the aggressor here. Things are playing out exactly how he envisioned. Why is 
garantiert sein. And now the beast is headed straight for Samoa Joe. I think the referee disqualified Trey for Samoa Joe attacking Brock. Trey still retains the Universal Championship. That's my Universal title, and I'm going to take it back. Not anyone else. So, Randy Orton, until you give me my rematch, get used to this happening over and over again. Well, Brock's dead. I don't know, guys. I say, I say we gotta talk to some people. Come on, guys. Hey, I heard you're in the Fatal 4-Way Last Chance match. So that means you only need to beat three women tonight. Then five other women who didn't need two tries to qualify for the Money in the Bank match to then get a chance to face me for my title. I'm not much of a gambler, but I really like those odds. How about we forget those eight other women that I smash you in the face and take your title right now? Because I really like those odds. I know you're used to handouts everywhere else you've been, but last time I checked, they don't call me Mela is charity. So good luck, long shot. Hmm. Randy Lord. Hey, Vice. Heard you wanted to talk? Look, I get you're trying to do what's best for your career, but I'm not your biggest fan right now. So don't walk in here like some jackass calling me Vipes or any other stupid name you come up with. Hmm. I'm feeling a negative vibe here, but maybe we should try to work together since this jackass is your universal champion. Not for long. You got lucky tonight with Samoa Joe helping you, but that will not happen again next week when Joe is banned from the building. Solid move, Mr. Raw General Manager Randy Orton. Is that better? Don't test me. So next week, am I facing Brock Lesnar again? No, he had his shot. You're going up against someone I can guarantee will take your title and send you packing back to NXT. I know who it is. Kurt Hawkins? Yeah, that's it. Really? No. You'll be facing the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman? Yikes. Hey, I meant it when I said I would make up for Samoa Joe costing you your money in the bank qualifying shot last week. So, how can I help in the last chance match tonight? I appreciate the offer, but I think I want to handle this one on my own. Besides, haven't you caused enough trouble around here already? Don't you want to guarantee a spot in the Money in the Bank match? It could lead to you holding a title, which I know you're dying to do so you can shut me up about winning one before you. I don't know. Decline. If I can't win on my own tonight, then I don't deserve to be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. All right. Good luck. If you change your mind, I'll be in catering. Got to take advantage of it while I can. Last chance, fatal four-way elimination match. It's under All right, the guys. We're going to stick right here, guys. We're going to put this away, guys. Going Six women tag match. What's up, guys? This is part of chapter 10. The cover. Inside the ring now. She's taking this match. She's not done yet. Right 
kick out. She seems to have gained the advantage here. Nobody can match up with this woman when she's on a roll like this. Nobody. It's reversed. Proving tough to touch. Hi guys, I'm back. The crowd is waiting I'm with the baby The Universal Championship. It doesn't get bigger than this. With Samoa Joe banned from the arena, what are the odds Trey can hold on to the Universal Championship against the monster among men, Braun Strowman? I'd say not very good at all, but crazier things have happened lately, like Trey winning the Universal Championship in the first place. Whoa! What impact! Gets him with the counter. And now that one's countered. And another reversal! Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Look out here. Look at this. Oh, an elbow drop! Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Get Bronx on in the yellow house. Alright, let's do this. Championship on the line. Got to be careful not to get counted out here. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Two. Judging from the feeling inside this arena, I think this crowd knows they may very well witness history here in this match. Of course, Braun Strowman has accomplished so many amazing feats over the years. But guys, one of the most amazing things I've ever seen was how Strowman responded to being taken to Suplex City. Elbow drop! No running strike. That is in the way. Drop reverses! And Strowman hits the running power slam. That might be oh, it for Strowman. Wait! That's Samoa Joe! Since I was banned from the building tonight, I had some rare free time on my hands. So I thought, what should I do? Well, you might not know this about me, but I'm a huge fan of men's slow pitch softball. And I actually remembered, Braun, that your old man was one of the greatest softball players of all time. In fact, he hit so many home runs in his day that they called him the Crusher. So I decided to come to your hometown and see the Crusher in action. And he did not disappoint. But now, the game's almost over. I can't wait to meet your dad in the parking lot. I mean, since I got to see what he's capable of with the bat, I figured it's only fair that I show him what I can do. <laughs> Braun Strowman is seen up. He's going to try to hunt down Samoa Joe. And he's also going to get counted out. It's all over. Trey wins. You gotta be kidding me. Trey has to be the luckiest guy on the planet because yet again he manages to escape with the Universal Championship. Hold on, guys. 
Well, you lucked out again. Hey, it's not my fault Samoa Joe is such a big fan of softball. Assuming Braun Strowman doesn't end up in jail for whatever he does to Joe, you're going to face Braun again at Money in the Bank. Well, actually, before Money in the Bank. You're putting the Universal Championship match on the kickoff show? Not exactly. The only way I can guarantee Samoa Joe won't be involved again is if your match takes place before the show when the doors are locked and no one else is in the building. It's going to be an empty arena match. Hey, at least this won't be my first empty arena match since I had one before against Jerry Lawler. When was that? Oh, it was in a dream I had, but still, good practice. Speaking of dreaming, I'm gonna go rest up for my big match. Later, Vipes. I mean, Mr. Raw General Manager Randy Orton. So I gotta face Braun Strowman again. Dre. Let's see what he got to say. No. No. Stop chasing me. Leave me alone. Return to hug. This is an empty match. match. It is for the WWE Universal Championship. I defend my title against Braun Strowman. Introducing the challenger, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! And introducing the champion from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, King. Z. Winning the Universal title makes you the guy in WWE. We're so accustomed to the presence of the WWE Universe that there's almost an ear cover by the challenger. One. Plenty of fight oh, left. No. Definitely has his work cut out for him. Proving tough to catch. First. Oh, able to counter. Oh, wow. Jumping clothesline. What agility. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Close line! Oh, what a right! Man, some attitude behind it. Here at WWE, we see a lot of guys with monikers that call out what makes them more than just an average man. The Viper, the Beast, even the Dead Man. But Braun Strowman's title incoming. Elbow drop! He misses the target! Short flight, but a rough landing. Elbow drop! Challenger's a little worse for wear now. He planned for this, it can still rally. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. Lightning fast reflexes. He's executing on his plan perfectly. This is what he feeds off of. Neckbreaker! What a smash! That is just insulting. Really just laying it in. Oh, oh, it drops! Incredible! Alright guys, we're back. He's calling for it. First hit. Braun Strowman is a force within the ring. Ooh, that'll mess up for the championship! Very Shoulder curious down. move to go for a pinfall at this point. Might have slipped there, Cole. Take downs like that will win you a lot of matches. What does Braun Strowman need to do now to remain a factor in this match? 
Yeah, he's looking off his game now. Huge toss. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Showing a lot of fury with these attacks. Nothing is going to stop him now. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. Standing strike. Trey's giving it everything he's got to take down the monster among men. Braun with a power slam. Hold on, it's Samoa Joe. He was hiding underneath the ring. Braun just snapped that back like it was nothing. Roman counters with a boot to the face. Here's the cover on Trey. Two, three. It's over. Braun Strowman is your new title, but there's no shame in losing to Braun especially with how it went down. I'm not that upset about losing the Universal Championship. Even though my run was short, it was memorable. I'm more disappointed that my time on Raw has come to an end. What do you want? You couldn't hang on to the title just a little bit longer so I could take it from you. And whose fault is that? I did everything I could to preserve my rematch, but it wasn't enough. Title! Or no title, I'm still going to choke you out. Let's do this. Hey, that's enough. Come on now. Mm. Hey, take it easy. I've had enough of you these past few weeks. Not only did you lose the universal title to someone who wasn't even a Raw superstar, but then you went to the extreme and multiple championship matches, so you've left me with no other choice. You're fired! Isn't over. It's the moment you feel safe and stop looking over your shoulder. I'll be back. Destroy you. Immediately! He thinks you'll be fine to compete next week. Oh? Okay. I'll, uh, I'll let NXT know. No. I meant on Raw. I've decided to give you a permanent contract. Really? Why? I know I've been hard on you, but I do see some potential. Your in-ring skills need work, but you can be entertaining at times. Oh, see? That's what I've been saying all these years. I put the entertainment in sports entertainment. I'm gonna leave before you say anything else that makes me regret my decision. Thanks, Vipes. I can call you that now, right? No. I'm happy for you. This is pretty awesome. I have officially arrived. Yeah, you got the spotlight now. No more being indiscreto. <laughs> well, I'm ready for people to know who I am. And hey, now that I'm going to be on TV every week, maybe even my real parents will see me. I should start leaving tickets for them at every big event, you know, just in case they show up. And this is all thanks to you. Yeah, well, <laughs> I can't take credit for everything. Now there's only one thing left to do tonight. We go out there and win the Money in the Bank ladder match. We? I appreciate the support, but I need to do this on my own. You sure? With Selena Vega in the match, there's a good chance Andrade will get involved at some point. Maybe. So, how about you stay back here, and if Andrade does interfere, then you take him out. Deal? Deal. I got your back. The package deal is together again on Raw. Already got one contract, about to get another. Might even meet my real parents soon. All of our dreams are coming true. <gasps> now that I'm all alone, I can properly celebrate. <clears throat> I got a raw contract, the ink's dry so they can't give it back. I got a raw contract, I'm kinda hungry, I need a snack. Yeah! I got a raw contract, I got a raw contract. I think I left my phone in. You're the worst. I got a raw contract, I got a- Hey! Oh, okay. That's the end of chapter 10, see you in the next one.